So our goal is to make sure we get at least four implants along the arch uh, with primary stability, but then if we're going to load them that day, we want to try and get these titanium temp cylinders as close to parallel as we can to one another. So just going to spend a couple minutes say, how the heck do we get this last guy on this weird angle? Um, to get, make sure that we have all of our angled mini conical abutments. Uh, match up. So this follows the vector of the implant being placed on an angle, okay? And it's supposed to be in a great rep, good rep to a great rep. When you line up these dots and you line up one of the dots on your driver to the mesial, then when we go to actually deliver a hexed, see this hex on the bottom here where my fingernail is? There's six positions on this. Hence a hex, right? But it locks into the implant in those different positions. So obviously, this position on the distal aspect, that's not going to work. That's nowhere near parallel. Parallel. If I lift it up and bring it around to the next position, we're still not there. So pointing one of those dots to the buckle absolutely helps. That's darn near. That is darn near getting this thing close to parallel, right, for an easier path to draw on our prosthesis. So that's for the hex above it. Now, once this thing's in, think about it. We're only working on a model. We're not working in the back of the mouth, but this is a great tool. You want to be a great rep, not just a good rep? Here's an extra oral torque wrench. So on the back end, I've actually set it between 10 and 15. Uh, our doctors, Dr. Anad or Dr. Molinari, will tell you to go less and then turn it up. But key is, when you turn your hand here on this wrench, it's actually turning the driver up here you can see it so this is huge when you get into the posterior of the mouth and I can now get this thing seated my hands aren't in the mouth they're out here okay and then just for demonstration purposes I need to stabilize everything but I simply turn by hand and then this locks up I can feel the resistance down here in my hands but it locks up the abutment I'm holding it like this and this can save a ton of time I've actually seen a doctor spend 45 minutes trying to get an abutment down properly because it was not engaging and it kept slipping. So also, this delivery arm here that's removable is very helpful, okay, to help line up your angle on this, in this case, a 30 degree abutment, but it helps me line it up parallel to the other pins. Hope that helps, but now I'm gonna switch over to a non-engaging abutment. So let's go right back in. For time's sake, I'm just gonna use a hand model because I do have access to this. I'm gonna back this guy up. Click, 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 click. I hear the clicks. And again, remember that this cone Morse connection, I really need to wiggle to get these abutments off. So I hope that your doctors don't get nervous either if these things stick. It's a good thing.